What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. Something happened to me this morning. It really pissed me off and I want to do a video about it. A customer from my Uberman store, www.ubermanstore.com, named Jude Voisin, decided to try to scam me. Now, I'll give you a quick backstory on this issue. Um, Jude purchased a LED lit tipping cup that I sell on my store, November 1st of 2016. Waits till the middle of December to ask me if he can get a refund because he doesn't really use it. Well, my Uberman store policy clearly states that there's a 14-day return policy. There's no exceptions to that rule. That's why it's a policy. You know, um, I'm sorry. These things are made locally here in Oklahoma, not by me, but uh, they take a lot of work to make, and shipping isn't exactly cheap either. So when you're just trying to make a few dollars off it, you can't really be doing a whole bunch of refunds, especially a month and a half after. And I asked the guy, you know, was there anything wrong with it? This was in an email, and the guy said, no, no, nothing wrong with it. I just don't use it that much. And I was like, that's not a reason to return it. I mean, if it's defective or something, we'll gladly replace it. But uh, you can't just return something a month and a half after you bought it because you just don't use it as much. And then the story changed. Okay? He tried to go through uh, Square, which is the company I use to manage credit card processing payments, and Square denied the claim. Uh, Square said, you know, you're past your 14-day return policy. You know, there's nothing that can be done. Makes sense. That's why it's a policy. But this guy goes even further, gets a hold of the credit card company, and does a reversal. Well, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but that's fraud. I, I know this because I have been involved with something like this before. It is called wireline fraud. It's wireline fraud, which makes it federal because you committed fraud in one state to another state, transmitted over lines. That is called wireline fraud. Feel free to look it up. It is a federal crime. Now, chances of anything actually coming to this are slim to none, but I guarantee you I'm going to pursue criminal charges against this man for trying to defraud me, which is exactly what he's doing. Now what he has done is taken time out of my day by me having to go through Square and, and respond to a credit card reversal for a resolution. His credit card company, it's happened to me before, can take the money away from me, and he gets to keep the product. That's fraud. He's intentionally deceiving his credit card company, trying to get the money back from me when he already received the product, and there's nothing wrong with the product. You know, this is absolute bullshit, and I am more than just a little pissed off over it because I work my ass off for what I make. And the people that I work with that actually manufacture these tip cups, they work their asses off for these products, okay? It is really messed up to be trying to scam me because by scamming me, you're also scamming them. It's just a ridiculous thing to do, especially over $39.99. Really? Are you that broke? Now, I want you guys to listen to this audio. Before you guys, uh, this is a, a recorded phone call between myself and Jude, okay? Um, and before anybody asks, I already checked into Georgia's wiretapping uh, laws, which could be federal, could be a felony to record somebody if you don't know the laws. I've already checked into uh, Georgia's wiretapping laws. And Georgia is a single-party consent state, as is Oklahoma. So as long as I'm a party to the conversation, I can record without their permission. But I also mentioned, I think, twice in the audio you're about to hear, the phone conversation, that the conversation was being recorded and that I was going to blast him on YouTube. And then we'll get back to that here in just a minute. Um, so go ahead and listen to this audio clip, and we'll come right back. Hello? Hello, this is Uberman. Can I speak to Jude, please? Yes. Hello? Hello, is this Jude? Yeah, yeah. Were you notified by the uh, credit card company? Yes, I just got a dispute claim saying that, uh, I guess you filed a dispute against the product that I sent you. Yeah, there was uh, an email that was sent out, and it said that, uh, unfortunately... There was only two weeks that was allotted or given uh, before you could return the product back. Um, and I think you should check the website. So that's when I went and went through my credit card company. Yeah, there is only two weeks. And since you did receive your product, and I have the tracking number that confirms you received your product, uh, by trying to right, go I through. Get it. I don't... Right, but by trying to go through your credit card company, that's wireline fraud. That's a federal offense. <laughs> 
you you can't no. you can't receive no, a product and take it back when you received it because you don't like the return policy. It doesn't work that way. No, it's just uh, I have no use for it. That's um, that's uh, you you the, took uh, that responsibility the, uh, when you charger, purchased it. The charger, uh, the charger, it, it fits in the cigarette lighter. It takes up all the space. Uh, like I said, I used it a couple times. It just it, it takes up all my other accessories because I, I understand USB. that. But when you purchased it. You cl it clearly states that you have a 14-day return policy. You can't wait a month and a half and return it because you don't use it. That That's not a reason for returning it. So by going through your credit card company, and they're not going to refund it. I've done this before. And you are being recorded, and I'm going to do a video about this. You don't get to screw me over and scam me and, and get away with it. So if I can pursue nah, charges, I absolutely nah, will. That, that, that. Nah, that's a bunch of BS because uh, you're a businessman. No you're, so, you're, so you're a you're a businessman. You have a company. You do this for a living. Because I do. Do what? Sell products for a living. I've been doing this since 2004. Look, I'm not questioning if your product works or not. The issue that I have is that how it's connected. There's other ports that I use, and it's taking up the whole. It's not a U.S. It, it, it's uh. You plug, it's hogging up the whole port. Then go to Walmart and so buy and go to Walmart and buy an extension for ten dollars. Yeah, that, that's too much, man. That's too um, much. Like so said, basically, you are them. trying to screw me. All right. So now that you've heard this guy's ridiculous bullshit story, are you serious? It takes up too much of the outlet. I've got a simple solution for that. I've got a lot of things plugged into my car. I've got dash cams, and i got my LED tip lights, and I use the LED tip cups too. So I have a lot of things plugged into my car. You know what? Like I told him, you go to Walmart, you buy this little adapter. It's like 10 bucks, 12 bucks, maybe $13 tops if you want one with USB ports and three extra cigarette outlets. And, and there you go. Problem solved. Well, that's just too much. Thir $13 is too much? $10 is, is too much? No, bullshit. There's something else going on here. I don't know. Did you really just need the $39.99 that bad? Is that what it is? You're just that fucking broke that you need 40 bucks? You shouldn't have bought the damn thing. I want to make this very clear before we go any further. I, I'm not asking anybody. I'm not I'm not encouraging anybody to harass or, or, or blow up or, uh, you know, bother this guy. I'm not going to give you his phone number. I'm not going to give you his address or anything like that. But... I'm really good at tracking people down. Yeah, I did this in about uh, two minutes. This company right here is a legitimate company, okay? So please, you know, don't bother these people. I'm just showing you this for a reason because I found who this guy is. You scroll down, and right here, Jude Voisin. Very nice, that one. So, ah, okay, and... This is a 404 area code for Atlanta, Georgia, which is where Jude lives. So I know it seems like a long shot to actually find somebody on a Facebook group um, to figure out their Facebook profile. But you click on it, and there you go. Entrepreneurship is living a few years of your life like most people won't so that you can spend the rest of your life like most people can't. That is a, that is a great quote coming from a guy that's trying to fuck over a fellow entrepreneur for $39.99. That's how you live your life? You live your life by fucking people over? Shameful, man. And that's what this video is about. This video is not about you guys going out here and trying to you know, harass this person or anything like that. This video is simply to blast this dude out for being a punk, for being a scammer. And I promise you, if I can pursue charges on this, I'm absolutely going to because this is not the first time it's happened. I'm absolutely fed up. Last time I lost over $500 on some bullshit like this. This time, I've got an audio recording. I've got a video. No, we're not playing it this time. And this time, I'm going after you. So if I could press uh, uh, charges for wireline fraud, you can bet your ass I'm going to do it this time. Well, there you have it, guys. Comment below. Tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay safe out there and Uber on.